just waking up in the morning. It feels so good not to be waking up in a tent like before. I mean, I was homeless for so long. I took a shower and looked at the window. Looked at the windows at the buildings. And my first night there, when I woke up the next morning, I didn't know where I was at. I, I, I was expecting to be back in the tent. I had my tent, well at first I started, I had it from the, when I first started, I had it from the block all the way to here. My tent, it, it's just full of water right now. It couldn't stand the rain, it just caved in. So I just had to just sit it out. I mean, you know, even though it was raining on me and there was nothing I can do, I, it was nowhere to go and, and this was my best option. I didn't know where I was at, and then I was like, oh, I'm in a hotel. Oh, I was so happy. That made me feel so good. L.A. Mayor Karen Bass. L.A. Mayor Karen Bass. Karen Bass. Today, Mayor Bass announcing her Inside Safe program. Inside Safe program. $100 million program. To get the homeless off the street. Into hotels and motels. Where they can get services and case management. On December 12th, the mayor of Los Angeles declared a state of emergency to address the city's homelessness crisis. People should not be left to live and die on the streets because the city isn't giving them some place to go. Inside Safe is designed to provide support services and temporary housing, including hotels, for individuals living unhoused. After 11 years living on Skid Row, Cornell moved into a hotel provided by the program. It's so good to have a shower. I was homeless for, long, for so long. I mean, you know, when I wanted to be clean, just take, come in here, take a shower, do whatever I need to do. Seeing the hotel, seeing what kind of hotel it was, I was like, whoa, am I actually going to live in here? I just didn't think I was going to, you know, be able to just get a hotel in there. And when I did, I couldn't believe it. I was just so happy. So I walked project. They told me, you know, they gave me a time schedule. They told me when to be ready. and, and when they picked me up, they took me over there, and, and I admit I was nervous, but then the process went so smooth. It went really smooth. I never wanted to do housing. This is not, this is not the work I intended to do, and it's not the intended work of my organization. You know, we are a harm reduction organization, so I would much prefer to be focusing on safer drug use and safer sex, but the reality is that people are just desperate for housing. Right now I'm driving around and I'm looking for a particular person. She is incredibly vulnerable. She's experienced very extreme violence recently. Someone handed her an explosive and it blew off her, her hand. So we've been doing her wound care and we were able to get her a great placement for housing. But now I have to find her, so I'm driving around the streets. Hi. I knew that was you. How you doing? Me. Have you seen her? No. No, she supposedly went home to her mom. She said she was going home to her mom. Can you try and link me with her family? Because I want to make sure she's safe before I give up her housing option. Ooh, I remember the first night I was homeless. The bus dropped me off downtown LA. I walked all the way from downtown LA to Hollywood, and then I walked back here. And then I just kept walking back and forth for like a whole week. I didn't know what to do. I had a t-shirt on, and it was, it was hot in the day and cold in the night. So I put my arms inside the t-shirt and found some cardboard boxes and, and laid on them. I was all alone and, and didn't have any friends and didn't really have any family. And I don't know, it felt like everybody had just turn it back on me. And, and even the people that I was trying to meet wouldn't even pay attention to me, so. I get to eat now. I get to eat better. I get to uh, take care of myself, but I get to shower, look in the mirror, you know, and fix my hair and, and the things that I want to do. And um, sleep in a bed. Sleep in a clean bed with air conditioning. You know. Hey buddy, you okay? Hey friend, you okay? Are you just resting? Yeah. Perfect. All right. I'll leave you to it. Other situations that we're constantly dealing with is, you know, like when we finally get people in somewhere, then a lot of the housing providers have very strict rules, including things like curfews um, or, you know, expectations that people only bring a certain amount of belongings or, 
you know, a lot of behavioral expectations. So we'll see people that we've worked very hard to get them off of the street into a stable environment, get exited again to the street, and then we have to start from scratch. But it happens all the time. If we want Inside Safe to succeed, we need to meet people where they are. It's a story we've been reporting on for years. Is it different this time? There is no debate that urgent action is needed. It's a sad situation for everyone involved. Inside Safe is one approach to a complex issue that divides Los Angeles. Lives and livelihoods are at stake. All these buildings going up, hundreds of millions of dollars, and we can't help the homeless? Both housed and unhoused have rights and homes, whether or not they have a roof. Being homeless is not a crime. Put one tent, two tent, three, and it was like a whole block. You shouldn't be made to feel unwelcome in your own home. People that lived on the streets along San Vicente now gone. His former encampment no longer exists. So it appears that this is a sign that this initiative is working. At this moment, change is coming to Los Angeles. I don't want it to end here, though. I can guarantee that they will be back with an hour or two at the most. The crisis, however, remains. We have found multiple weaknesses in the system. The program has brought more than 1,200 people indoors. What the mayor says is lacking. The help and the services they were promised. For unhoused Angelinos, Inside Safe is both a narrow path and a way forward. Considering the conditions that I was living in, oh, it feels so good. Oh, it feels good. I, I can't explain it. It's like a miracle, seriously. I, I'm so glad that happened. Thank God I mean. <laughs> Thank God I have some good friends, you know. Thank God. Housing for all means housing for all people. That includes communities who really want to see unhoused people safe inside. Jenny and Soma, where are you at? Hey, Mama. Yeah, hi. I got you a placement for housing.